Okay everybody, today I'm going to be testing if you can cook eggs just by mixing them really fast. So the theory I'm going off of today in order to try this is the first law of thermodynamics. So I think it's a pretty stable theory to try this off of. And basically it says that any work you put into a system will eventually come out as heat. So Blendtec blenders are really powerful. For example, a Blendtec blender uses 1500 watts of mixing power. And for comparison, a shop vac uses around 1,000 watts, a washing machine around 900 watts, a refrigerator 600 watts, a microwave 1,000 watts. So it's extremely powerful. It puts a lot of energy into mixing. And the first law of thermodynamics tells us that the energy from that mixing has to eventually go somewhere. So this is actually a really good method to show how mixing turns into heat. Okay, let's put in our eggs. Okay, we got 12 eggs here, and I don't think I got any shells in it. Okay, this is gonna get loud and crazy. For the eggs, I'm not actually sure what's gonna happen here. If, if they do start cooking, maybe they'll just spread out to the sides, they won't fall back down in the middle. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Let's see if you can cook eggs in a blender. Okay, I'm gonna have my thermometer in here now. Starting off, it looks like we're at 67 degrees Fahrenheit, 19 degrees Celsius. So last time I did this, I broke my thermometer because the blade hit it. I think it's high enough. Oh no, it's not. Okay, this could all go south real quick. So I got my safety glasses on. Let's see what happens. Just did it again, I hit my temperature probe. <laughs> okay, I have my backup thermocouple because I broke my other one just like I did last time. So hopefully this one, this one's definitely not low enough to hit the blade. Okay, we're at 76 degrees Fahrenheit, let's keep going. Okay, start it again. We're at 108 degrees. Okay, we're at 135 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Let's keep it going. Getting hot, 157 Fahrenheit, holy cow. 70 degrees Celsius. Smelling like cooked eggs in there, let's keep going. It's still liquid. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it cooked him. That is so cool. Let's see what this. Holy cow, that is hot.
Let's see this. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> Ow, those are hot. I cooked eggs in my blender. <laughs> Look at this. I cooked eggs in the blender. Those are good. Hey, this is a new thing. Yeah, they're good. 177. Right when it hit 170 Fahrenheit about, it just turned into a solid and it cooked them. And these are really airy. Like, look at these. This is so cool. Wait, that's weird. That's actually like... Really good. Yeah. Okay, this is a new thing. I'm patenting this. Don't anyone steal it. So cooked eggs in the blender. That is so cool. <laughs> so look how cool this is. So as soon as it hit the right temperature, it just immediately turned into a solid. Everything on the sides and everything just turned into solid egg. And this is actually really good scrambled egg because it has a ton of air in it. So they're really light and fluffy. Okay, this worked way better than I thought it was going to. I didn't know what would happen, but I didn't think it would just turn into fluffy nice scrambled eggs like this. <laughs> and the first law of thermodynamics tells us that the energy from that mixing has to eventually go somewhere. And I proved that in a previous video. I showed that when I mix water in my blender, I could eventually boil it. And a lot of people were skeptical of that. They said that it didn't come from the friction of the water against the blades or the internal friction, but they said it came from the motor itself heating up and that's what heated up the water to boiling. So somebody that works at Blendtec, they told me that yes, the motors get warm, and if you run them for long enough, the heat will eventually radiate through the plastic cover into whatever's above it, like water. However, there's little heat conducted through the blades because of the bearing inside the jar. Most of the heat was created by friction caused by the water molecules hitting other water molecules and the friction between the blades and the water. And I should add a lot of the heating also came from the cavitation of the blades hitting the water, causing micro vacuums to form that vaporize the water and then collapse back down. And that heats up the water too. So he said, yes, for the amount he ran the motor, there would have been a small amount of heat that radiated up into the water from the blender itself but I believe most of the heat was caused by friction inside the jar between the water and the blades. Okay, so there you go. You can easily scramble and cook eggs in a Blendtec blender. This might be some of the best scrambled eggs I've ever eaten, I'm serious. They're really fluffy and light, perfectly cooked actually. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. This one was pretty cool. I didn't think I'd get as good a results as I did, but it happened and it was awesome. So if you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when my latest videos out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.